What is up, everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here today, and I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So today, I wanted to make a quick video about plate pins. Uh, so basically, just want to go over them, like answer basic questions about them. What are they? Can you clone them, etc.? Are they bad? Uh, so let's get to this video. So as you can see on this plate, this plate is actually from the 5th of October. So that's quite a while because we're now, so that's from uh, three months ago, actually. Three months old plate because we're, this is January the 7th. So recently I looked to my side and I was going through my old plates that I had and I found this guy. And uh, I was like, oh, cool. That's a, that's a cool plate pin of a Florida grass lover. So this is a fairly recent pin, as you can see. So it took a while for this thing to fruit. And as you can see, there's actually little primordia forming as well on the bottom there. And uh, there's one to the right there, but you can't really see it too well, maybe. Uh, but anyways, this is awesome. This is a good thing because that means that the genetics here are more likely to fruit. This is a strong fruiter, especially when you have a variety like Florida grass lovers that needs a casing layer. If you got a plate pin on those ba in these babies, then you better take it and make a transfer because it's actually harder to fruit for these guys than core lovers, for example, which don't need a casing layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this baby and I'm gonna transfer it to a brand new agar plate. And I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm just gonna take it with the scalpel. I'm gonna try to cut it on the bottom and then I'm gonna move it to the new plate with a scalpel and it should be fine that's enough to clone it you know you don't have to cut it or anything this is perfectly fine because this is in a sterile environment you know it's in a sealed plate so that's the main reason why plate pins are awesome is because you know that th these are good fruiting genetics and they're clean so you don't have to clean it up or anything they're fine as they are as long as your sterile technique is on point and you do it in a sterile way basically it'll be fine i've actually also uh, seen stories of people who have had plate pins actually, you know, fully mature and basically sporulate or start sporulating. And what they do is they take the cap, right? And they take a spore print and then they take the spore print and they, you know, they streak it onto another plate, right? So basically now they're at F1, the first generation. And, and then they would have another fruit pop up from there because it's like good fruiting genetics now. And then they would do the same thing. And then they go to F2, F3. And so basically you could, <laughs> I've seen a case of somebody stabilizing a whole variety just on plates without ever taking it to bulk or anything like that. So just a cool bit of fact. So yeah, guys, it's completely fine. It's actually a blessing. So yeah, that's all guys. Michael File Sage, check it out.